everybody and welcome back to my channel today's video is the makeup that I'm wearing right now uh, I got inspired from Nikki Tutorial's Demon uh, makeup and of course the movie It uh, Nikki did last year a Demon makeup half of her face was Demon and the rest of it was her normal makeup I really liked it and uh, I wanted to recreate something similar uh, of course, I got inspired from Pennywise. Uh, the um, concept behind it is uh, that um, there is a girl. Uh, she seems normal, but uh, if you pull off her skin, then uh, there is a creepy clown underneath. If you like it and uh, you want to see how I did it, then just keep watching. I'm here with the bare face and uh, I'll start by drawing some lines, guidelines, to separate the normal makeup from the clown makeup. You can always go back and uh, remove the lines if you want to change them. I'm happy with that. Don't worry if they are not perfect because you are gonna cover them with the latex. Yeah, I'm happy. Uh, I'll go and do the normal makeup and I'll be back so the fun can start. I'm back. Now I'll uh, do the cool stuff. I start by applying a white color on my face. This one is from Creolan, it's called Clown White and it's specifically for clown makeup. I apply it with a flat brush from MAC and I will put it on the majority of my face. Now with a smaller brush, this is from L'Oreal Paris, it was on the packet with the gel eyeliner. I, uh, apply the white color as close as I can to the guidelines. It's time for a second layer and now I'm applying it with my fingers. As soon as I'm finished, I take a Creolan sponge and uh, the Invisible Powder by Kiko and uh, I will cover uh, the clown makeup with the Kiko powder. layer and this time I use the Creolan sponge and I go back and forth between the white color and the Kiko powder. I clean my lips from the white color and then with the Essence long lasting eye pencil in the shade Belle Fantastic number 29 I will cover my lips and of course I will create the well known lines that Pennywise has. It was hard to draw the lines with the soft pencil, so I took an angled brush to make the lines as thin and straight as possible. After cleaning the pencil, I applied the color on my waterline. Then I took a small amount with the wooden spatula of the Domination Lipstick from Balmain and L'Oreal Paris Collection and with the same ankle brush that I did the lines before, I took the lipstick and I applied it directly to the lines and my lips. I recommend you to use a wooden spatula or a metallic one or whatever you want and put a small amount of your lipstick there. Uh, don't use your uh, brush directly to your lipstick because you will transfer white color to your lipstick. Of course you can always remove it from there but um, for me it's better to use a wooden spatula. I used the red lipstick to make the lines more reddish and not purple. Or you can use any red lipstick that you want, uh, but uh, I prefer a matte one and uh, a bit dark. 
To cover my nose I use the same pencil as I did before to create the lines and on top of that I apply again red lipstick. I take the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Fair Neutral to cover my eyelids. From the Kathleen Lights and Morphe Brushes Eyeshadow Palette, I use the Burgundy color to create a line close to my eyelashes. On top of that, I apply the grey-brown color from the same palette. I use the same combination also on the lower lash line. Then I take a clean brush to blend everything out. I use the black color from the same palette uh, on my crease and under the eyebrows. With the burgundy color I blend everything together. And then I take the same pencil as I did before to create a line as close as I can to my eyelashes. I smudge that out with a pencil brush and with the uh, pink and burgundy color from the same palette I blend again everything together. Blend, blend, blend. With the red lipstick I create a vertical line to connect the other two lines that I already had and on top of that I use the burgundy color after the uh, grey brownish color and finally a combination of the burgundy and mustard color to make the line uh, appear darker. To do my eyebrows, I take with a wooden spatula a small amount of the gel eyeliner from L'Oreal Paris in the shade Pure Black. Moving on to the latex part, I divide a tissue paper and I only keep one part. I cut it and I apply it with the straight side to face the normal makeup. I apply a small amount of the Creolan liquid latex with my fingers along the guidelines. I stack the tissue paper on top of it and I let it to completely dry. I take the Tart Shape Tape Concealer that I used before and I cover it. I want to give the illusion of the burn, so I take the brown eyeshadow from MAC Cosmetics and I apply it on the middle of the latex to give some depth. So, let's give some texture to the burn. First, I use the orange brownish color from the Kathleen Lights and Morphe Brushes eyeshadow palette and uh, I blend it with the previous color. Then, on top of that, I use the burgundy color from the same palette and uh, I blend them again together. Remember that if you want it to appear normal, then it doesn't have to be the same everywhere. From the same palette, I take a bit of the dark color to make the burn darker. And now I blend everything together with the mustard color from the same palette. With a clean brush, I apply the pink color at the edges of the latex where it meets the normal makeup. In that way, you make the burn appear more realistic because normally the area around it is pink due to the irritation. I apply the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation in the shade white to give the illusion of the dead skin. And as you can see I applied too much so I have to correct it and uh, I will do that with the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in the shade Toast 
and the pitch corrector from the same brand. It's time for the black eyeshadow again and now I apply it with my fingers and with the clean brush I blend the areas where it's too dark. On top of that I apply the red lipstick to make it more reddish. It's time to put some blood on it. And I use the Creolan Special Blood IEW in the shade Dark. And on top of that I use the black eyeshadow again in some places to make the fake blood looking not so fresh. A little bit of the white makeup again and you are done. With the toothpick I carefully make some little holes on the latex and the makeup is ready. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Uh, don't forget to tag me if you recreate this look so I can see yours. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!